witness a medical revolution. We're on the cusp of unleashing long hidden secrets buried deep in our DNA. This is the ultimate genetic crystal ball. DNA sequencing, it's a profound game changer. Visionary technology now promises to end deadly diseases and gives us the key to immortality itself. We knew that there was a way to intervene with aging at the genetic level. DNA can absolutely help feed and heal this world across the board. Spectacular new discoveries are revealing the true power of our genes. This is DNA, the next wave. In the future, our health problems could be mapped out at birth. But is every one of us truly prepared to predict our own future? We're only um, scratching the surface of all the knowledge that we're going to obtain by studying the human genome. As we consider the implications of this new wave of DNA technology, science is tempting us with the promise of another medical breakthrough. Superhuman life. A race to a new genetic frontier has started. Scientists are finding innovative approaches to gene expression profiling. Gene expression is, in science, is how a gene functions. When you activate a gene, it will make a protein. Gene expression is related to whether that particular gene is activated or inactivated, if you will, to make less protein. Academic institutions and privately funded labs are harnessing the huge potential of this science. The human genome is the book of life. And we have finally been able to understand what is written in this book of life. And these breakthroughs are powering us towards a once impossible goal, identifying the sources of aging. What we are trying to see now is whether we can actually slow down the aging process in such a way so that these age-related diseases don't happen early on. We are trying to delay the onset of these diseases as much as possible. Meet Dr. Joseph Chang. As a chief scientist of a privately funded lab, so... he's dedicated his life to nutritional intervention for the war on aging. I experienced in my lifetime uh, the death of my father about three years ago. He never had a good quality of life for 10 years before his death. And I began to wonder, can a person maintain an optimal quality of life throughout his or her lifespan? In these commercial labs, Dr. Chang is searching for a way his company can restore our bodies to a more youthful setting. Through our scientific studies and to our research, we are beginning to understand there are certain groups of genes that are very important in aging. Instead of just talking about groups of genes, we thought by coining a term such as youth gene clusters, it would give a better definition of what we're trying to do in our research. Within the clusters, he is looking for genes that regulate aging. If you somehow change the gene expression profile of youth gene clusters, it has either a positive or a negative impact on biological aging. He becomes interested in youth gene clusters related to mitochondria, tiny structures in our cells. These are miniature motors that fuel our bodies, maintaining our energy levels from cradle to grave. Yeah, the mitochondria, like the battery, does drain over time. If we don't recharge the, the mitochondria battery, we won't have the energy uh, needed to run the cell. And if the mitochondria doesn't function optimally, then these early signs of aging begin to appear. Advancements in science enable Dr. Chang to probe at DNA's frontier. 
He's trying to restore mitochondrial function using gene expression technology. So when we talk about resetting, we're not talking about structurally changing these genes. We are really resetting the activity or the gene expression profile of age-related genes. We are beginning to understand there is a certain gene expression profile that exists when you were in a very youthful state. But as you age over time, that gene expression profile changes. We want to make sure that a gene expression profile stays as close as possible to what you had when you were a 20-year-old. On the other side of the world, partnering with Dr. Chang at a sister lab is Dr. Josh Zhu. He's using his knowledge of the natural world to battle aging with the most unusual of ingredients. The scientist believes that he is getting close to discovering the key to resetting mitochondrial gene expression with the help of a fungus called Cordyceps sinensis. Cordyceps sinensis is a fungal product, a natural product. It's just similar to any kind of a mushroom. But this is no ordinary fungus. In the wild, it grows on the heads of live caterpillars from a range of remote mountains in Tibet. After years of correctly formulating the right blend through a fermentation process, Dr. Tzu is ready to take Cordyceps sinensis out of the lab and begin observational studies to discover its true power. His studies have found that after taking Cordyceps sinensis, their exercise performance capability improved. Cordyceps sinensis shortened recovery period and improved cardiovascular function. Cordyceps sinensis drastically heightens endurance and energy metabolism and fights fatigue. The results indicate that Cordyceps sinensis could potentially counteract the strains of daily life that lead to aging. We can see a Cordyceps sinensis not really just an extended lifespan, but a healthy lifespan. We proved Cordyceps sinensis is really anti-aging herb. Dr. Zhu's Cordyceps sinensis research is added to other blended ingredients to create Dr. Chang's anti-aging compound. This is the first time ever where some of these natural ingredients by using modern scientific methods to demonstrate that it can actually extend lifespan. Scientific experiments at academic and commercial labs show that our genes do not control our fate. Our research is beginning to reveal the reality that the aging process is most likely a symphony that is being played in the body. And in order to play that symphony extremely well, you need an orchestra of genes being somewhat uh, cooperating with each other to make sure that the aging symphony doesn't get out of tune. Gene expression technology is revealing a path to healthier lives for all of us. But there is a catch. With the world swelling to over 7 billion people and many developing severe conditions in their later years, two experts are turning to mankind's closest relatives. And helping them is a tiny technological